Um, thanks for being here. Uh, I'm Regis Bemo. Uh, thanks for the introduction. Thanks to the, op op the conference organizers for accepting this, this talk, uh, which I'm very excited about, uh, deploying a robust, scalable OpenX platform in one click or less with Tutor. Um, so please, uh, can, can you please raise your hand if you've heard about Tutor? That's awesome. Oh, I wish there was a camera there. Every, every, pretty much everybody. So anyway, uh, Tutor, um, I'll explain it again. It, it's, um, it's an open edX distribution that was designed for maximum uh, simplicity and uh, maintainability. And it's Docker-based. Uh, wh what does that mean? It's, it means that it's the same open edX source code that you're extremely familiar with. Uh, it's, it's vanilla code. It's not, it's not a fork. But it's just different deployment scripts. And um, also, all the OpenEdX services run inside Docker containers, so isolated from the rest of the server. Uh, Tutor was developed both for production and for local development. So people run currently Tutor in production for their OpenEdX platform. What does that mean in practice? If you want to run an OpenEdX platform, you just download the Tutor binary, run Tutor local quick start, and after 10 minutes, then you have a running platform. You can see here an animation. It, there's an interactive configuration step where you configure um, the basics of your platform. Then it generates an environment and launches all the containers and the uh, required operations. And then you have a working LMS and CMS. With Studer, you don't need root access. You don't need to install extra requirements on your server, apart from Docker and Docker Compose. All the files and data for your OpenX platform reside in a single folder, which means that it's extremely easy to, to back up and migrate. And it doesn't rely on the Ansible playbooks uh, that are officially maintained by edX. Now, why, why should you care? Why should you care about that? That this is a deployment method. But there's already a, a supported deployment method for OpenEdX, which is supported by, by, by edX. So what's the point of this? One of the goals of Tutor is to destroy two myths about OpenEdX. The first myth is that OpenEdX is hard to install. It isn't. It doesn't have to be. With Tutor, you just install Tutor, run a single command, and you install OpenEdX. The second myth that Tutor aims at destroying is that OpenEdX is hard to upgrade. It doesn't have to be. With Tutor, again, you upgrade Tutor and run a single command. And this, this change, this is important, because that brings OpenEdX to a much wider audience. And that, that benefits the whole OpenEdX community, I think. What comes with Tutor? Here are all the features. First of all, Tutor run, uh, runs Ironwood since Friday. <laughs> Um, Tutor comes with the bundled um, HTTPS certificates. You can customize the platform as much as you want, so you have theming, custom X blocks. Uh, Tutor comes with uh, extra locales um, out of the box that are not packaged um, immediately um, inside the uh, OpenEdX distribution, the official OpenEdX distribution. There's, there's also a web user interface that helps you manage uh, your OpenEdX platform so that you don't even have to SSH into the servers to manage your, your, your platform. Tutor builds the Android application for your platform so that you can send the APK file to your, to your students. With Tutor, you can deploy multiple OpenEdX instances per server. And this also is a big change, I think. Um, Tutor comes with the Kubernetes support uh, out of the box, uh, but it's a beta feature. And there are many others uh, that you can think of. What's next? The next features that I'm currently working on and which are almost ready is a deployment on multiple servers so that you can uh, make uh, your platform scale. And also, I want to support third-party plugins. What does that mean? If you are the maintainer of an X-Block, a theme, or an OpenEdX application, I want you to be able to install your application in one click with Tutor. And that means that if you have a, even if you have an extremely customized um, OpenEdX platform, then with Tutor, you can also install it in a single click and distribute it to to many users. Now, why should you trust me? I'm just a random guy on the internet. So why, uh, why me? Well, I could tell you that I've been in this community for, for a long time. Uh, that, that doesn't count. 
the, what counts is that I want to make um, Tudor su sustainable. This is an open source project, and it's going to remain so. Uh, all the code is open source. I want to make the project sustainable by creating a business model. So Tudor will come in two editions, um, a free uh, edition and a commercial uh, long-term support edition. Both editions, I, I insist, will have the same features. There will be no premium feature. And, the, as all, and, all, and all the code will be open source. So, However, in the um, commercial version, integration will be even better. For instance, right now, there's a one-click AWS image that you can launch, and, uh, and you get a running OpenEdX platform, and you, you don't even have to SSH to the server. The other thing that I want to work on is an offline studio for, for course design, so that teachers can download the studio, work offline, design their courses, then export and import it to uh, a running instance. And the third thing that I'm working on, which I am very excited about, which is the, the goal that I had in mind at the very beginning, is apt-get install OpenEdX. And this makes OpenEdX extremely easy, again, to install, but also to upgrade. Like I said, there's an, uh, an AMI on AWS. This is a commercial AMI. Com by commercial, I mean $50 a month or $500 a year. So if you want to support uh, Tutor, it's extremely easy. You don't have to come to me and give me cash. Just launch an AMI um, image um, on AWS. That's it. Here are, here are a few links. So the link that, that you, you should click if you want to support the project. Most important link is the documentation. Uh, the source code is available, of course. There's, there are forums. Um, Lawrence McDaniel has written a great blog, blog post, a comprehensive blog post on how to deploy OpenEdX with Tutor. And these slides are also available on the internet. That's it. Thank you very much.